With great prices and a serious concern for quality ammo, True Shot Gun Club is my go-to for ammo, and it's the reason I'm happy to have them as a sponsor of this channel. If you're getting some range time in, make sure to restock with True Shot Gun Club and tell them Shenanigans sent you. I spent five years open carrying my pistol on my hip before obtaining a license to carry concealed. I dedicated a lot of time to considering where I would carry concealed once I could, and ever since, I've been a dedicated appendix carry guy. That being said, I've never been a spare mag kind of guy. Statistically, you are unlikely to fire more than five rounds and even less likely to require a reload during a self-defense gun use. If you're concerned about failures, the large majority of failures can be cleared by just manipulating the slide, so a reload won't really impact failure clearance. Until now, all of my holsters have been without the sidecar feature, and it's gear I've never felt compelled to experiment and train with. I've considered it on occasion, however I'm not the fittest person and I was concerned about overall comfort. I'll have days where appendix carry isn't as comfortable as it tends to be most days, so the idea of adding more kydex and a magazine sticking into my belly for something I'm statistically unlikely to need, I'm gonna pass. But the thing is, you don't get to determine your self-defense scenario. Welcome back. If this is your first time here, thanks for stopping by. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button for me so I can keep growing this channel and bringing great content. Faced with a mass shooter at an Indiana mall, Elijah Dickin fired 10 rounds from a distance somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 yards, hitting 8 out of 10 of those shots within 15 seconds of the attack starting. Honestly, go and try it and tell me where you stack up. I did and I'm dedicating more time to practicing shooting my EDC from greater distances now. An event like this is one of the justifications I can make for carrying a spare mag that makes sense regardless of your pistol capacity. We see mass shootings taking place in larger, more open spaces such as grocery stores, schools, campuses, malls, but even outdoor events. Today, I wouldn't say it's unlikely that you could face a threat from a greater distance that will require your response so that you can get out safely. We've also seen an increase in these public attacks, including more than one attacker. And under that kind of pressure and stress, it's definitely better to have too much ammo than not enough. You can even find examples where suspects are shot by police 10 or more times, sometimes hit fatally, and they were not immediately incapacitated and were able to stay in the fight and continue shooting at the responding officer. This combined with multiple attackers at longer distances, having enough ammo to stay in the fight begins to seem more reasonable. Lately, if I'm in a largely public and open area, I'll carry a reload for those reasons, just to make sure I can stay in the fight for as long as I can so myself and my family can make it to safety. Civilian Tech Holsters reached out to me a few months back asking if I would be interested in reviewing their Guardian Rig Appendix Holster. This is one of those setups that includes a sidecar for your spare mag. I thought about it and came to the conclusion I'm shorting myself of experience by not at least trying it. This was not sent to me for free. I paid for it out of pocket and this is my honest opinion based on my experience. Civilian Tech is a small business and every holster is made to order. Uh, from the time I placed my order to the time it was delivered from California to Michigan was about three and a half weeks and I honestly don't find that unreasonable, especially for the quality. I've been carrying this FN 509 CC Edge in the Guardian rig from Civilian Tech. Full review is live on the channel if you want to check it out. Kydex is the only thing I trust for my EDC. Unlike leather holsters or hybrid holsters, it won't wear out and flex over time. It stays as rigid and maintains retention on day 300 as it does on day one. And the quality of the Kydex from Civilian Tech is really high. I've received Kydex holsters from other companies in the past and the pattern was blown out or blurry or had other imperfections, but the pattern on this is great. The colors are really vibrant. All the cuts and trimming around the edges are smooth and reduced, so there's no sharp edges. There's a lot of attention that was put into this holster and it looks like everything was done with great precision. More importantly, it's molded really well to the firearm itself. This is a 509 compact mold with an open bottom for the compensator. If you have a 509cc edge and you'd like to pick up one of these holsters for yourself, there's an option for the 509cc edge on the website now and they'll make sure you're set up for success. I've spent a lot of time carrying this over the past few months since receiving it, both out and about doing my regular day-to-day -day tasks like grocery shopping, and I've also spent quite a bit of time on the range during live fire, and I'm quite satisfied with it to be honest. I picked up an appendix rig from Black Arch Holsters to compare it to, and I want to emphasize this. For me personally, the Black Arch wasn't as comfortable for me in design. I actually ended up removing the sidecar and setting it up like this with the dual clips. I run this when I'm not running the civilian tech, and the Guardian rig for me has superior comfort in the way the holster is designed. 
The sidecar overlaps the main body of the holster. The curve of the wing combined with the sidecar really feels like it conforms with my body when I'm wearing it. They use an elastic cording to connect the two pieces. The elasticity helps the holster flex and move with you while you're active. It's especially convenient when you're bending over. I have not experienced this loosening and the knot hasn't come loose and the extra length in the cord hasn't bothered me while I'm carrying it either. For most of my EDC holsters, I've been putting comfort wedges on them. I've tried a few different styles, including the ones from tier one, as well as built into the holster wedges. And this one from Black Arch is my favorite and so far the style I found most comfortable. It's wide and it has a great shape to it. So the pressure from the holster is more evenly distributed and the foam offers some give, especially when you're moving. Black Arch offers two styles, the red is their firmer material and the gray is a bit less firm. I'm not the fittest as I've mentioned and I don't have a flat six pack. So the result is my stomach tends to push the top of the holster out, which causes the bottom to push into my body. So these wedges not only help for comfort, but also concealment. And I think I'll pick up another one so I can see how it impacts my overall comfort with this setup too. However, I've never had a problem concealing with this and it blends into my body and clothing really well. To aid in concealment, Civilian Tech provides this claw to help push the holster back into your body for better concealment, and it does this job well. The holster uses two polymer over-the-top clips, one on the main body and one on the sidecar. These clips lend themselves to a greater ease of use. They're more flexible than metal clips, so getting the holster off and on is rather easy. That being said, I do prefer the metal discrete carry concepts clips. They're more durable than polymer and will be guaranteed to last longer. Metal clips are not an option on the website currently, but Civilian Tech told me if demand increases for metal clips, they'll be happy to add it as an option. These polymer clips have been great so far though, and they've held up well and have never slipped off my belt. I've mentioned comfort a bit, and I want to focus on that for just a moment. You can't expect complete comfort while carrying. I mean, you have a hard foreign body between yourself and your pants, but this holster does go a long way towards making that a far more pleasant experience. I've drove for long periods of time, grocery shopped and ran errands, sat for lunch, among a host of other physical activity, and I've been comfortable all day long. In my opinion, the height of the clips are perfect, and it holds the grip of your firearm at what I think is the right height above your belt to ensure that you can get a full and confident grip on your pistol, depending on where you wear your pants, I suppose. This sits perfectly right above my lap, and it's easy to access when sitting down. There was that video going around of the armed robbery at a restaurant in Texas where an armed civilian drew his firearm while sitting down and shot at their attacker while being seated. I spent a little bit of time sitting down while I was out at the range running this through its paces just to see how accessible it is, both for getting a positive grip on my pistol, but also attempting the reload while I was seated. And I really had no issues getting to my gear or accessing my reloads. Now this is important stuff to practice. You don't get to pick your self-defense scenario. And if you're in your vehicle, for example, you may find yourself in a position where you have to get to your pistol. And if you're in deep enough, maybe even your reload. It's another example of running your gear in every situation so you know how it will react to your response to a deadly force encounter. It does have adjustable retention. If you are picking one up for the 509cc edge, I recommend tightening the tension screws. My holster came a bit loose and the comp slid all the way through and got stuck. This wasn't a defect with the holster, I just over inserted it. Once I adjusted the retention screws and tightened them down some more, it's fit perfectly and I've had no issues with over insertion. As far as the reload goes, the spare mag fits nicely and at a comfortable angle that feels pretty ergonomic to grab for that reload. I've not had any issues with the magazine coming loose or popping out, it stays put pretty well. If I had to guess, I put several hundred draw strokes into this holster between dry fire at home and the thousand rounds I've put through this 509cc edge at the range and the holster is held up and the performance on the range is great even when I'm moving and reloading on the move. The pricing is fair to me. The Guardian rig is $98. There is a new version that Civilian Tag just released, the Guardian V2. This is priced at $110 and both holsters come with all the fixings. So there's no upcharges for things like Kydex patterns, colors, or concealment wings. And I might see if I can get my hands on the Guardian V2 and do a comparison. This holster really changed the game for me, and I like the idea of being able to comfortably carry a spare mag, comfortably being the real focus. With the 509cc Edge, I can have 30 plus ones of self-defense rounds on my person if I have the 15 round mag in the pistol and as a spare. I typically carry the 12 round mag and the 15 round mag as my reload. Still, 27 rounds gives me plenty of force to respond to any violent acts against me. Overall, I'd like to see metal clips added as an option, simply because I trust their durability more. The polymer clips have performed well so far, and if they continue to perform as they have, I'll be satisfied. I really like this holster and the design. I appreciate from a consumer standpoint that the price includes upgrades like Kydex colors and patterns, and the concealment claw, which with the majority of holster companies, these are additional charges. Bit of a wait, advertised 15 to 20 day lead time on the website, 
I don't honestly find anything wrong with the lead time, especially considering that this is a small business, but there's a great focus on quality, which you definitely won't overlook when you get one. Would I buy one again with my own money? I would, but I'm just some guy on the internet. So let me know your thoughts. Leave some comments below. How do you carry? Do you carry a reload? Do you even think you need a reload? Let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button so I can keep growing this channel. I'll catch you guys on the next one.